John Oliver video about base 2 scripts and manual MIDI mapping. I believe that I've got uh, this, uh, the problem under control here. Um, it appears that when uh, ma notes are MIDI mapped manually to control um, tracks, on-offs, and uh, so on, that there's a problem with the script uh, in mode 2. Uh, the mode 2 notes, uh, if they've been assigned by, to another controller to control stuff, those same notes will control the same things. So, what I did was, um, I've got MIDI monitor program up on the right here, so we can see uh, the um, uh, MIDI coming into the computer. Okay, there we are. And so I've got soft step here. And soft step I have assigned to control the on offs of tracks one, two, and three, as well as the record enables. So if I press button one, one goes off and off, two off, three off, and back on again. And then I've got record enables on the other uh, tracks. There we are. So that's how that's all working. Let's turn them all back on again. Now um, I have bass two down here in mode two. And I've got a synthesizer enabled here. Uh, and let's just go play it. Uh, there we go. We have some sound. All right, so <clears throat> now what we're going to find out is that let's look at track one here. Track one is controlled by, let's catch it, MIDI note C4 in MIDI monitor. This is actually C3, we call it everywhere else. Uh, MIDI standard C3. Okay, so now I'm going to just turn that back on here, and now I'm going to play uh, on mode 2, a C scale, going from C2 to C3. So, this is C2. Here comes C3. Does not play. Instead, what it did, is it turns on and off track one. There I'm pressing it repeatedly here and it's turning on and off track one. Okay, so this is the script for C3. The raw MIDI is G1. So this is not an issue of, of the raw MIDI being sent, sent out. It's an issue of the scripted note, which is C3. As we can see in MIDI monitor here, the note that was sent out is the raw MIDI is G2. Now let's just confirm that by turning the script off. I'm just going to put the uh, I'm going to turn the script off. Here we go. Libid base script is now off. Now it's just a raw MIDI controller. And I'm going to play the synth. That's of course now it's all chromatic. So that's G2, and G2 did not turn on or off any track in the synthesizer. So that's uh, C1, C, uh, G1, that's C2, and, and that is C3. So in the script, this note, C3, turns on and off track one. So the raw MIDI, C3, you can see it there, it's called C4. Um, the raw MIDI is not turning the track on or off. It only occurs when the script is enabled. So to, uh, to verify that uh, the solution to this problem, from my perspective at this point, <clears throat> is to eliminate all of the MIDI mapping. So I'm just going to put this uh, tripod back up so we can put my hands two hands free. Sorry for all the noise. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, take all these channel 15 MIDI mappings <clears throat> and I'm going to get rid of them. And now we got rid of them. Now if we play with the script on, we have to go back to the script and turn the script on. Now, uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Now, so the script is back on. I've removed all of the assignments to soft step. So now when we play the synth going up 
to C4. There's our C. It is no longer turning on and off. Track one. Conclusion, the script is interacting with any manual mappings.